Okay, so today I'll be discussing uh, 3D space thrust. Okay. So this is a part of a three-dimensional frame structures. Okay. Now uh, to recall, uh, remember this is the stiffness matrix of a an axial member. Okay, so it's a two by two uh, local stiffness matrix. Because we only consider axial deformation. Okay, so it's either tension or compression, right? Okay, next is uh, since we will analyze uh, in an arbitrary inclination, so given that angle, we can determine the transformation matrix of our. Uh, axial member inside the space okay, so remember if you have this say uh, 3D space XAY then you have inside the space you have an axial member uh, with an inclination of theta X theta Y theta Z now that means uh, we are referring to both axes no? from uh, I mean on all axes from X from Y and from Z you you are going to find its inclination relative to this uh, axis okay so this is our transformation matrix so this is a one uh, two by six right? two by six matrix now consistent with what we are doing ever since no uh, the the formula of getting the global stiffness matrix remember this is the formula for getting the global stiffness matrix T times 3 transpose KT this is the K local so this is the K global so this is a 2 by 6 that's what we shown earlier 2 by 2 and then 6 by 2 we will get a 6 by 6 global stiffness matrix okay so once we do that we can generally uh, we can get the general uh, uh, stiffness matrix global stiffness matrix of an actual member okay so this is a 6 by 6 stiffness matrix okay so with that, uh, let's implement that on our SMAT here. Okay, so let's implement that here. This one. There. So let's solve a problem. This one. I got this also in this uh, in our reference Kasimali okay, so it's a four uh, it's a four member truss no? or actually loaded members and uh, so you can get the coordinates of this point So for example, I assigned I assigned co uh, this one as coordinate one. Okay, let me check here. Okay, so 
yeah so let me share this one yeah, okay so I made this uh, node 1 node 2 here node 3 node 4 node 5 and if you check the coordinates So coordinate 1 is 0, 6, 0 because you only have value on y. You know, because uh, this is our reference. This is our origin, 0. 0x, zero 0z. Zero so this is z, this is x. Okay, so 0, 6, 0. Node 2, so this is negative 1.5 and then 0 because... Uh, we're on the same plane on XJ plane and then the Z direction is 2 okay no 3 this is 3 because you have 1.5 plus 1.5 so that's 3 0 we're on the no, XJ plane and then the Z direction is also 2 for node 4 this is our x is 1.5 because as you, if you that means if this one is projected here that's 1.5 okay then 0 on x a plane and positive 2 on the ah ne negative 2 i mean because i consider this as positive z so um, on the other side it's negative z so that's why it's negative 2 and finally this is this one is uh, 302 negative 3 okay negative 1.5 plus 1.5 negative 3 0 on the x a plane and negative 2 since uh, on the opposite direction okay so that's how we set that that's why in my s mat okay okay so i have here the coordinates here okay then the, according to the problem the area is uh, uh, this is a 70 gigapascal material and area is consistent 3700 millimeters square next to find the the the, the theta x okay so this is the formula okay simply just find the uh, arc cosine no? okay. for and of course this corresponds to the x coordinates while for theta y this corresponds to the y coordinates for theta z this corresponds to z coordinates okay and how do we compute the length uh, it's basically pythagorean theorem one so x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2 uh, y uh, z3 minus uh, okay uh, z1 minus uh, z2 okay and you have this sets of uh, length okay next is oops and uh, so uh, this is my implementation of the global stiffness matrix which is this one Okay, so for example, our F11, uh, this one should be cosine square theta x. So this one, cosine square theta x. F12 is cosine theta x, cosine theta y. 
cosine theta x, cosine theta y. And then F13 is cosine theta x, cosine theta z. One. F14 is negative cosine squared theta x, which is actually negative of this, right? So I made this negative F11. F15 is... Uh, here there f15 is negative cosine theta x cosine theta y okay which is this cosine theta x cosine theta y so negative of f12 okay and finally cosine theta x cosine theta z for f16 which is negative of f13 okay how about the diagonal f22 or say F66 is F33. This F66 is F33. So which is this one, right? Which is this one. Okay, so that's how you, uh, that's how I implemented the uh, global stiffness matrix. Next is our of of uh, local stiffness matrix so this is uh, this is our local stiffness matrix I mean global stiffness matrix for each element no? okay, so if you notice since I assigned uh, as node 1 this is the 3d truss this is our node 1 okay so for member 1 this will be maybe this is there okay maybe I'll zoom out a bit yeah so if you notice uh, my coding of the degrees of freedom is starting from here the node 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so for member 1 okay so 1 2 3 four five six okay for member two it's uh one two three seven eight nine okay so I'll update this okay so so if uh, I just updated this, so assign this as one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. For member two, it's seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, four, five, six. So our convention is uh, first the x direction. Next is the y direction and last is the z direction. Okay, because uh, in 3D truss we are only uh, capable uh, to displace on translation. Okay, there's no rotation. Okay, and so that's it. So uh, so the encircled numbers are all we will need in generating the S matrix because uh, our structure is uh, restrained on these uh, joints okay. so therefore uh, the displacement is only at the top okay so we only have three degrees of freedom okay three that's why our S matrix is three by three and that code is 456 okay. so that 
is the code for our S matrix. So this that diagram illustrates. Okay, this drawing illustrates the 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 for uh, no, the formation of our B U and B B matrix. So in in K one we only we have four five six in K two four five six. Okay, so on so forth. Okay, that's why in my BU matrix, all we need are all 4, 5, 6, right? And their destination in our S matrix are all uh, first, second, and third, right? Okay, so because we, all, we have a 3 by 3 uh, S matrix. Looking at our problem, our p vector applied load is zero on x direction. Okay, we don't have applied load here. We have a negative 400 on the code number five vertical, and we have a negative 200 applied on the z direction. Okay, so we have the Remember, P is equal to SD. So we, we now know the P vector. Uh, we can generate the S matrix. So therefore, we can find the displacements. Okay. So using our S mat here. Okay. So this is uh, my BU and BB matrix. Then this is my code for generating the stiffness matrix and this is the P vector this is the S matrix and the inverse and these are the displacement okay and uh, since uh, the displacement of member 1 is 0 on the 1, 2, 3 direction. We only have displacement on 4, 5, 6. So we can get the forces at member 1 by this formula. Okay, K1, V1. Okay. Which uh, I did this in STAD. So let's look at the reaction. Okay. Oops. There. So looking at member one, and uh, which is n this is node two. Let's find the reaction at node two. It's twenty two eighty nine twenty nine. Okay. Then this the forces at our member one twenty two. 89 29 okay consistent and how about for member 2 i am getting 5 11 3 so this is uh node uh member 2 here i think this one uh node 3 5 11 3 okay next is f3 77 3 1 1 3 this one Node 4, 77, 3, 1, 1, 1, 0, 3. And lastly, 94, 189, 62. 94, 189, 62. Okay, so that's it. Therefore, this code is uh, consistent with STAAD. Okay. Uh, so essentially, the... Uh, what uh, what only changed is uh, on the previous sample is the again the stiffness matrix okay but the rest are all uh, the same maybe the the complicated part here is of course uh, getting each each uh, data x matrix but you can automate that. That's why here I 
I establish the coordinates first. That's why, so I can uh, get automatically the data x. Remember in SMAT, uh, we are, this is in region, no? the default is region. Okay. Take note of that.